What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dom, and if you haven't been here before, I have a 2004 Nissan 350Z, and this week, we're gonna be washing it. So I'm definitely not a professional by any means, but these are the products that I use, and I've learned over trial and error using so many different products, and this is what I ultimately landed on. First, I start off by cleaning the wheels by using the Meguiar's Ultimate All Wheel Cleaner. This is great for any aftermarket wheels that you have, just like mine which obviously you can tell they are dirty because it's safe for the paint and it removes all iron within the wheel itself and turns purple, which is really cool. Then I follow up with Chemical Guys Snow Foam. Uh, this is their honeydew version. I do have a pressure washer and a snow foam cannon. So I just dump a bunch of that in there, mix it with some warm water, make sure that it's warm water, otherwise it's not gonna foam up as well, and then spray it on the car and spray everything off. Once the car is fully clean and it's dried off, I then use my Chemical Guys Ultimate Wax. As I'm sure you know, there's so many different kinds at Walmart and Target and anywhere else, AutoZone, that you can see. This is by far my favorite that I found. It works really well, leaves a nice deep shine, and I like it a lot. I also like the smell of it too. Then for the tires, I know it's not professional at all, but I use the Hot Shine Foam. What I like doing with this is just spraying it on, leaving it on for a little bit, and then wiping off any excess residue. This leaves a nice matte finish to it. Not terribly shiny, but it does add a little bit of shine. And for the windows, I use this Stoner Invisible Glass. So you spray it on, wipe it off, and it's great. It leaves no streaks as long as you use a microfiber towel, and that's what I use for all my windows, including inside. If you ever clean your house windows or your mirrors, this is great for that too. It's just a little more expensive than Windex. I won't be cleaning the interior today, but I still wanted to go over a couple of the products that I use. Honestly, the number one product that I do use is this Meguiar's Quick Interior Detailer. It leaves a nice matte finish, and it's not shiny at all. That's what I don't like in the interior, is when you have a shiny dashboard or anything like that, it just glazes and reflects off off of the window and it's very distracting. For the leather seats, I do use the Meguiar's Ultimate Leather Detailer. This doesn't clean it as well as other cleaners. I'm still researching and trying to find a good cleaner for my leather, but that's what I use to just maintain them. And then back to the invisible glass for the windows. Make sure to clean the inside of your windows as well as the outside because a lot of smudges happen on the inside from different fingerprints, which definitely needs to be cleaned. Then I have a small Ryobi electric pressure washer. It's only 1600 PSI, but it gets the job done. It it is pretty loud and whiny though. So that's the one thing I do not like about it. And the last item is this Mac Snow Foam Cannon. I got this from Amazon for about 20 bucks and they don't sell this specific brand anymore, but there's multiples out there that are exactly the same. And for $20, it works really well. There's no need to spend 80 to $100 on one of those Chemical Guys Snow Foam Cannons. They do almost exactly the same thing as this. As long as your soap to water ratio is pretty decent, this will create great lather and a lot of foam. about this much soap and then I'm gonna fill it all the way up with water.
now we got the Z back inside, I'm gonna wipe down the windows, dry everything off, and then go through and wax it. towels I use a combination of chemical guys microfiber towels that I get on Amazon every year during their prime day deals these are usually on sale in big packs but are very cheap so I just get them once a year cycle them through throw any of the old ones that are all stained or torn or anything like that I also use Walmart microfibers just because they're huge as you can see here this is a pretty big towel I do need to get some of the chemical guys in this size I just haven't done that yet and this does the job I've had these for a long time I wash them every every time I wash my car so I don't get any pieces of dirt or anything stuck in this towel and then I use this to dry the whole car off. Make sure you wipe down inside your door because there's always a bunch of dirt that gets trapped inside there. Don't forget your gas cap either. Now we're gonna clean the wheels and I like using a new microfiber for each wheel just so that I don't get any rocks or dirt or anything caught in the microfiber that will scratch the paint. Next up, we're gonna take the quick wax and spray it all down and wipe everything off and give it a good wax. Then you'll see that this will shine a lot more after we wax everything down. I'm gonna take the tire foam and spray it around the wheel. Then I'll leave it for about five minutes and then wipe it all off. And while that's going, I'm gonna wipe down the windows with this invisible glass glass cleaner. Now I'm gonna go through with an older towel and wipe down everything around the outside and get rid of a lot of that shine. Alright guys, that's gonna be it for me today. Hopefully you like this video and you can see the Z is nice and clean. I'll also leave some links to the products that I've used in the comments down below. You can find them on Amazon, but they are gonna be way more expensive than what they are in Walmart or Target. If you did like this video, make sure to give it a like, subscribe to my channel to see more 350Z and Jeep content, and I'll see you in the next one.